Hello, I'm Carol Morrison. Here is some of the latest news from Two Works For You. Volunteers came together Tuesday to learn how to help veterans in need. The Oklahoma DAV and VA Healthcare System held two Drive a Hero training sessions out at the Hard Rock Casino. The program gives veterans free rides to and from their medical appointments. Volunteers were able to complete the three month long process in just one afternoon. Officials say the volunteer work is life saving for veterans who don't have access to transportation. Health officials believe recent storms and flooding are to blame for an E. coli outbreak in Kingfisher. The Department of Environmental Quality says four people became sick. Tests found E. coli in a water well, and right now officials are working to flush the city's water system. While that's being done, the city of Kingfisher is asking everyone to boil their water. Those annoying robocalls could have been a lot worse. Today, the Federal Trade Commission announced Operation Call It Quits. Officials say they've blocked more than 1 billion robocalls, and they're bringing new cases against people and companies that are responsible. Experts say it is a tough problem to stop since most of these calls are being made from overseas. And tonight, those temperatures are going to be dropping down into the upper 60s to low 70s. And as we start off our Wednesday morning, we'll look for gradually clearing skies across the area. Tomorrow, mostly sunny conditions. Winds picking up out of the south at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And those temperatures tomorrow, fairly similar to today, maybe just a couple of degrees warmer. And this is what it's looking like as we head throughout the day tomorrow. We're getting up to about 85 by noon with a high of 90 then. Tomorrow afternoon, a couple of 80s, upper 80s in some areas, but it looks like we'll touch right on that 90 degree mark here in the Tulsa area. All right, tomorrow also a little bit on the sticky side as far as that mugginess goes. Lots of humidity stays in the air. The, the uh, temperatures, though, also getting back on up there in the low to even close to mid 90s in some spots as we head through the end of the week. Heading into the weekend, look for those low 90s to continue. But for the next seven days ahead, it looks like a dry period for us here in green country. Karen. All right, thanks, Kirsten. And for more news, just go to our website, our mobile app, and get your morning started at 4.30 with Two Works For You today.